Well, welcome to the Jungle Cottage. This is actually a practical video. It's a training video. It's the Jungle Cottage cleaning video. So I'm going to be walking around, pointing out some of the features of what it is and how we want it to be. Now, one thing, of course, it's uh, the Jungle Cottage. It's queen size beds. So we always try to actually have matching sheets. All the other accommodations in Hedonesia as an eco hostel, nothing matches. So coming in here, this gives an idea of how we want it to look. We want to have the mirrors. As you can see, the mirrors are nicely polished here. We want to have all of those wiped down because they're nightly guests. We want to have it to hotel quality every time a person checks out. Over here, you see how the chair's been arranged, nice. Geordie did a wonderful job here, and you can see a lovely little flower arrangement. One little quickie here, a little massager, electric massager, um, yoga mat, a little exercise uh, thing, you know, and we just want to dust those down, keep those nice and neat. I did remember one last one. So bathroom, we have to really clean this one. The toilet bowl, like for instance, right now, you can see that the toilet bowl, that one needs to be scrubbed. You know, that's um, one that I'm going to do right after this video. You know, we try to keep it at that level. The bathtub, because we live in the jungle, the um, it always does get dirty. So you have to scrub, and then you have to scrub on the insides here as well. Both sides of the plastic, you have to scrub with a scrubby is a really good idea. And I'll take the soap away. Um, other things with the bathroom is underneath the sink. Make sure we keep this clean. Keep this nice and clean and ordered. There's uh, the window washer. We got extra soap, everything like that here. So we keep this whole area nice and clean and um, looking really good. Um, yeah, this. Still a little bit more there to do to make this one 100%, but yeah, this is basically the idea for keeping this accommodation up to the level. Same thing all here, you see how we've cleaned all of that. And I one think spot right here is uh, the mirrors, same thing, we want to always keep those nice and polished um, to wipe those down on the inside. The couch, we check to, to make sure that there's no stains. Moving over here, see, lovely little flower arrangement. At the end of every checkout, the flowers are usually pretty moldy and old, so we let them go. And the nice touch is to have a fresh set of flowers for the new person when they come in. And we usually have one of the uh, travel magazines for the Big Island in the area, so they've got convenient magazine to read. Looking out of the view of the window, this is one important thing, and I'm actually just going to point it out from here. It's a maintenance issue of the bananas here. It's a weed banana, so we have to slash those down because they, this will grow. That tree there will grow insanely over the next uh, few months. So every, Basically, every month or so, we cut that down, that some of the bananas and everything like that, to keep this view attractive so that when people look out, it's a nice, pleasant view. Moving along here, we keep the whole video area nice and clean, looking, looking really sweet. And uh, dust it down, dust down the TV. Same thing with the glass here. We want to keep the glass shined and uh, white on both sides so people can look through. It's, it's very easy to see imperfections here because of the, because uh, we're looking through against the light. Uh, moving along here, same thing, these windows. Spider webs tend to go right in these corners here, right up in here. Those are the crazy spaces where it goes. So we want to wipe all those little corners down and uh, vacuum in the grooves there. That's where insects like to gather and play. This is all, we call it the Tantra lounge. It's classy, it's nice, but when we bought it, it did have a bit of a mold stain right there. Something we want to keep wiping and cleaning. Moving into the kitchen, now there's a few things that need to be organized here still, so I'll, I'll just point out. Coffee, it's, what, what's nice is that it's set up right now so that everything is organized nicely. So you can see how the, 
Dishes are arranged in the, in the wall. That's very attractive. Looks very symmetrical. Very beautiful like that. But little things like, you know, the rags, the cleaning rags that have been um, left. We want to make sure we take all the clutter away. Same thing with, we use toothbrushes for cleaning in the corners. And toothbrush is especially like in this area. It's uh, in the sink. We, we would use it in there to just clean out any mold and everything like that to make sure it looks um, really nice and polished. Water stains, the, the water here does leave a little bit of a chlorine stain, so you do have to wipe down the sink dry afterwards for it to look good. Same thing, we wanna put away all the dishes so that everything looks nice and clean. And the dish tray itself, we can give that a scrub every Compost, we have to take out the compost. That is very important because if the compost is ever left, it turns to insane bacterial logic. Continuing right along, the fridge. This is one of the important ones. We want to clean this properly, make sure that there's any old food or anything like that all taken out. You can see here, this would all have to be removed, all the counters wiped down, and uh, everything taken out of here. And then the fridge is usually unplugged when uh, we don't have any guests coming in, and it's only plugged in when we have a check-in coming in that day. Same thing, all other personal stuff removed. Here, this carpet, the red shows up every fleck of dust. So we want to really keep that nicely vacuumed. When you walk outside, we want to have all the surfaces on the outside clean. Uh, slippers, personal stuff, and all that stuff, we moved all of those things away and we sweep the floor. You can see that even if no one's occupying the place, dust, leaves, things like that kind of blow their way in. So it does still require um, an, a little extra, basically it's, there's always that little once over or that touch up before a guest comes in. Hammock, we always check to make sure that's good, that the, that the actual things work, you know, working and everything like that. We always make sure that the, the, the couch, the cushion, is underneath the hammock, so that way if it ever does break, there's a little uh, safety feature for people. And then over here, the pond, we want to make sure the pond looks nice, attractive, take out. We don't want to have more than 50% cover of uh, the water lilies. We always try to weed out enough so that there's 50% or less in terms of uh, um, lily coverage, otherwise the fish are not really happy with we that. We try to keep one hose here because it's an emergency for watering plants and maintaining and filling the pond if there's any issue, but we try to make sure that the hose doesn't go in the road, because if it goes in the road then the cars drive over it and break the hose. Around here, we make sure that the border is weeded, that there's a nice clear pathway as you can see here, nice and safe to walk on that side so they can look at the crater that way. And you can see it's all weeded. This is how we want it to look. The recycling containers, we wash those out every time, the recycling and garbage containers. And what we do with those, Andy, if you can take the two brown ones with me, I'm gonna go in here, little jungle cottage sign. We're moving right in there. So where we put these guys is we put them right in here. The mixed recycling, the cans and bowls, and then we turn the garbage around. Is that one's, that one doesn't even have the word garbage. Oh, bugger. Okay, that one's actually supposed to have the word garbage on it, bottles and cans, and mixed. So that way, by making it very clear, we encourage people to recycle that way. Um, oven, the big cleaning thing on the oven is we make sure all the surfaces are clean. We also make sure and we give a little peek inside to make sure that it's clean inside so they're not um, using a really crappy oven. Oven mitts, we should always check those. I think I've said enough now, <laughs> so I will close down with the lovely little shot of the Tantra Lounge. Thank you. Uh, love